Yoruba monarch, the Alafi of Oyo, Oba Lamidi Adeyemi, has passed on. Alafi Adeyemi, the third from the Alowolodu ruling house, died in the late hours of Friday at the Afe Babalawo University Teaching Hospital Adeikiti, the capital of Ekiti State in southwest Nigeria. The remains of the top Yoruba traditional ruler were brought to Oyo town in the early hours of Saturday and palace rise began. He was 83 years old and the longest reigning Alafi ever, having ruled for 52 years. The governor of Oyo state, Sheyi Makinde, is expected to make an official announcement upon receiving the report of the monarch's passing from the Bashoru of Oyo, Yusuf Akinade, the head of the Oyo Messi, who will now lead Oyo town before a new Alafi is installed. The monarch has been sick and a plan had been made to fly him abroad before he passed on on late Friday night. A source familiar with the medical travel plan said his ticket and those of a few wives were already procured. His death came months after the two other senior Oyo state monarchs, the Olubadon of Ibadan, Salu Adetunji and the son of Obomosho, Jumo Oyewumi, died. All happened in less than five months. A new Olubadon has been installed, but the sound throne remains vacant. Alafi Adeyemi was born on October 15, 1938, in the Agwawolodu Royal House of the former Oyo State. He was crowned on November 18, 1970, succeeding Oba Gwadegwesin Ladigo Lutu. He was known popularly as Iku Baba Yeye. While he reigned, he was the permanent chairperson of the Oyo State Council of Obas and Chief. With the demise of Alafi Adeyemi, it is now the turn of the Ogunloye ruling house to produce the next Oyo monarch. Mr. Adeyemi's predecessors, Alafi Ladugolu, was from the Ogunloye's house. Iku Baba Yeye was survived by many wives, children, and grandchildren. Now, the last moments of Obalamidi, aka Iku Baba Yeye, with his many wives. Please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>